All right, guys, let's hop right into this. We're going to be taking on Barry today in Pastoria City. Uh, my last VOD literally had six minutes of exposition because I went to the box to show you guys my encounters and then went and did the gym puzzle. And since I'm streaming on Twitch now, I feel like it you it's not as necessary for me to go through and like explain everything that happened between videos. I just recommend you guys go back and watch my Twitch VODs if you want to know what happened. But... I've got this team uh, ready to fight Barry. I'm using Aerodactyl for Staraptor, Venusaur for Breloom, and Azumarill, Torterra for Snorlax, Nidoqueen plus Gyarados for Infernape, and Togekiss for Heracross. Let's co go and get this money. Yep, there's Barry. Whoops. I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. Let's taste your Pokemon to see how buff and tough you are. Mm -hmm. Whew, I'm nervous, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Whew, whew. We got this. We got this, we got this. <sighs> okay. We'll lead off, Aerodactyl versus Staraptor. Hey bro, I had to hype myself up, okay? <laughs> we rock slide, destroy this Staraptor. Oh man, oh man. Oh, it lived? How in the world did it live? Okay, I was actually 1 HP off being dead to crit as well. I cannot believe that just happened. Also, why didn't I crunch? Big throw. 1% chance to lose. I didn't calc to see if it would kill. I calc'd the EV spread for the rest of the game because like I said, I'm only locked into one EV set. Also, I think I need to add a rule about my item clause because I don't think that's listed in my rule set. I'm pivoting Gyarados first. It's probably going to Aqua Jet, but I want to pivot Gyarados just in case it Ice Punches. He uses Aqua Jet. Okay, good. I should heal most of that back with Leftovers anyways. Yep, perfect. Now it's going to play rough as I go into Venusaur. Uh, can, can one of my mods ban this guy? Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was nice. Let's sludge bomb. Destroy this dude. Breloom is toast. Okay. Body, it lived, okay. Body Slam is coming out. That's a crit, that's a crit, that's a crit. <sighs> oh god. Infernape. Ooh, this is really sucky. Infernape is random moving here. If it Thunder Punch crits on the Gyarados, I'm going to scream. Okay, it faked out. Thank god. <sighs> that would you mean never punished? I literally lived a crit. <laughs> okay, anyways, we're going into uh, a Nido Queen here on the Thunder Punch. Absolute destruction. An Earthquake is gonna plow this Infernape. Ooh, it's Flamethrower. I did not see that. Maybe max defense wasn't the move then, huh? I wasn't dead to a crit. I think I was dead to crit burn, though. Gyarados is not banned. <laughs> I don't know who gave you that idea, but it's just not. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna 100% flamethrower here, so I'm gonna pivot into Aerodactyl. Actually, let's check something really quickly. 
Er, not that's not what I meant to do. Speed Infernape 42. 127 is always faster than Infernape. So I should be able to go into Jurassic and kill this with Earthquake. Let's see. I definitely live a crit. I'm an, I'm a damn Aerodactyl. Oh, I didn't live a crit. <laughs> Never punished. Never punished. Literally not once in my life have I been punished. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Who's next? Breloom. Okay. Let's do this. I think this has Mock Punch and Venusaur is at 18 HP. Okay. I think it Mock Punches here so I can go Togekiss and Encore it. Oh, it Rock Tombed. Holy shit. What? Okay. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. Jesus Christ. Why did you Rock Tomb there? Um, it Rock Tombs again. I know that much. Okay. I got it. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a. I am a man with a plan. Okay. So it Rock Tombs here. I take absolutely nothing. I uh, seed bomb this once. Expected, but still altogether irritating that he did that. God, this berry fight really never goes according to plan, huh? I've got to, I've just got to take the force palm here. Interesting, he saw the low roll with, with bullet seed. I actually need HP on this thing though, so I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, let's see, what does he have left? Um, so, he had, we took out Infernape, we took out Staraptor, we took out Azumarill, so he has Snorlax, Heracross, and, uh, this left, so... So, I, I know that I can pivot... Yeah, I think I can pivot into Gyarados here. On the Spore, and then switch out. It was random move, yeah. I just got unlucky with the random move. I thought he would Force Palm, though. Like that. Right there. Okay, so the fact that he didn't Spore is really good, because it means I can just Ice Fang this. It probably doesn't kill, but it should do enough to... Put it in range of, like, anything. I don't die to a crit rock tomb after. I don't think. Okay, yep. He's gonna rock tomb again here. I think, um... Uh, yeah, this is the best switch in. Yes, perfect. I wanted him to spore there. Okay, the reason why that is perfect is because I don't need Nidoqueen for anything in this fight as of this point. And Nidoqueen baits out Bullet Seed. Hmm. So, let's think. Does Gyarados die to Bullet Seed? Perhaps. It does. Um... Togekiss, does this- I don't think this has Mach Punch, if it hasn't used it. Yeah, it's Force Palm. I literally thought I would use Mach Punch when I didn't have it. How stupid of me. Now let's look at Togekiss. 152.87. I think I just got- I think Togekiss is my safest switch in. If it Rock Tombs here, I am going to be furious. Actually, it probably does Rock Tomb. Okay, it Force Palmed. Don't pair, 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 don't pair. Yes. Okay, Moonblast this thing out of the game. Jesus Christ. Yes, it's Technician. This Breloom is giving me heart attacks, dude. Oh, man. 
Okay. Snorlax. I have a 100% answer to this. Let's go. Um... I just need to land a leech seed. That's all I need to do. It's a body slam, crunch rest, sleep talk. I can even take a par paralysis from body slam. Okay. Just leech seed? Yes. Okay. Haha. <sighs> and then just don't crit me precisely here. That's all I need. Alright, good, 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 good. So this wasn't a 100% counter, but it was a very good one. So now I can pivot around a little bit. I can go Gyarados here. As he uses probably Body Slam. Lowering its attack is very big here. I want to... Let's see how much it does. Ooh, that is a lot, actually. I'm probably dead to a crit, but I think at this point, just getting that damage off with Aqua Tail is really important. Oh yeah, it was Battle Armor. I forgot about that. Oh, that's so good. Okay, wait, this is amazing then. Um, yeah, I completely forgot about Battle Armor, dude. Okay, so I know that Torterra is never dead to a crit here. Is this ever dead to a crit? It's max defense, dude. There's no way it's dead to a crit. Let's see how much this does. 107. 74. Yeah, that wasn't dead to a crit. Perfect. And I can drain a bit of its HP. Basically, the idea here is I want to go into Torterra on a turn it uses rest. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's poison tail this. Okay. Or not. Really good. Oh, wait, what's my Toga Kiss at? I need to monitor its HP. Cause there's a chance I may need to use Nido Queen for Toga or er, for Heracross. It's guts, right? Yeah, so let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna intimidate this with Gyarados one more time. And then I'm gonna switch into Torterra. With battle armor, I should absolutely be safe. 83, 46. Okay, good. I was dead to crit there, but I, I just wanted to be 100% safe with my Torterra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dude, Snorlax's HP stat is insane. Uh... Okay. Okay. Thank God. Alright. Now I can start uh, cursing. And it, it will get to the point where he does less damage to me with body slam than HP I'm healing with leech seed. Yup. Okay. I think we've got this. Okay. Alright. Boom. Bada bing bada boom, man. This thread is so strong. He does, he does roll body slam again. I, I It's insane how I haven't been paralyzed once. With two of these, I should be free to start attacking. Battle armor is such a good ability, dude. It lets you, it, it makes stall strats so powerful. Literally, the second leech seed hit, the game ended. What do you mean, don't kill Snorlax? <laughs> Ooh, 10 damage. Yeah, dude, battle armor is so clutch. I think Snorlax should drop into the dust here. 
Yup, okay. Now, here is the question. Heracross will use one of... We'll use... Oh wait, nope, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I think it's gonna Mega Horn here, always. I go Gyarados, uses Bullet Seed. I think I go Togekiss here. It's it's a four times resist. It's a four times resist, dude. There's no way. There's no way this kills me. Oh, we did it. <laughs> okay. And I roost all of I resist all of its moves so I can roost here. Even if it, yeah, I resist all of its moves, even, oh, actually bullet seed, oh never mind, he didn't bullet seed. Damn, that does a lot. I'm gonna keep roosting though. When he misses, then it ends. Oh man. Okay. This is quite the battle, it's been like 20 minutes almost. Alright, let's go. Destroy this thing with Moonblast. I think it one hit KOs. I just didn't want to risk it not killing and then losing my Togekiss. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, what a battle. It was all Zoe, it was always using Mega Mega Horn anyways. Yeah, run, you're probably right. I'll I'll definitely make sure to do that next time. If there is one. But yeah, no death on Barry. I'm really happy with that fight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day.